2K Sports welcomes you to the following presentation of the NBA. Hi everyone, greetings from 2K Sports. Get ready for some NBA action. Joined in the booth with Greg Anthony and Brent Berry, this is Kevin Harlan, our sideline reporter, David Aldridge. It's the Chicago Bulls taking on the Boston Celtics. Here we go. And so off the tip, it's Boston. Now let's take a look at the Bulls' opening lineup. Rodman is out there with Pippen. Then there's Harper. Then there's Longley. And it's Jordan in at the two-guard spot. This is it to age. Got a piece of it. Four on the shot clock. The drive by Jordan. And slam dunk by Jordan. And we've seen it. He can do this all game. Jordan with a great burst there to get the finish. Now Ainge. Johnson outside. Pass to McKayla. That one falls. In the ultimate combo guard, Johnson can pass with the league's best playmakers. Jordan against Ainge. A floater. Jordan can't get it to go. And even though he didn't get a piece of that shot, you love the pressure he puts on the shooter. Yeah, that's the kind of energy that you want to see on every possession throughout the game. Rebound by the Bulls. Outside Pippen. And there's the pass to Harp. Back to Pippen. Six on the shot clock. Fires for three. Robert Parrish comes up with the rebound. Johnson with it. Pass to Ainge. Shot clock at six. It's blocked. Johnson against Harper. Outside Jordan. They've been against Burke. Outside Pippen and wrestling for it there, but no one has possession. We'll have a jump ball. Knocked away. And so here is Chicago. Outside Jordan. Bird against Pippen. Nice D from Bird. A lot of defenders choose to just back up off of him when he's in that tight, try to avoid the and one, and this time, they're not backing off. Vicious to Parrish. McHale trying to free himself, and it's Parrish missing. And they double up Jordan. And that won't go, missing the go-ahead bucket. And they're one of five to start this game just really haven't gotten into a flow offensively here's Johnson up again it's good on the putback and the chief making his presence felt on that offensive backboard doesn't look like he's out working you until you see the ball drop through the net and the first time out of the game called for Chicago trying to snap them out of this little slump well they can't find the net right now and all they need, I think, is just to get one to go, get back on track.
And so here is Chicago. Passes it to Pippen. Outside Jordan. With some arc. Yep, that one goes. And what you like there, Jordan never looks like he's rushing. Makes quick, solid decisions. Johnson with the bounce pass. Baseline try. No good from McHale. So it's Chicago now. Here's Harper. A miss that time. Would have put him up. And the pressure he put on that shot forced the miscue. Those are all the little things about effort there. He just gets out there and contests. And that's just enough. Now here's Burr. He's gotten some minutes, but nothing on the board yet. Six to shoot. Pass to McHale. Over Rodman. And he can't bank that one in. Now the Bulls with it. And here is Jordan. To the wing right side. A floater. Harper, no good. Bird with it. Guarded now by Dennis Rodman. Doesn't go for him. And Chicago will go the other way with the ball. Takes the 13-footer. But they'll get another chance. And not much else you can do. I mean, defensively, you try to make it hard on Jordan without fouling. But he's just too dialed in. Now here's Johnson. Now the pass to Ainge. Feeds it to McHale. And it's slammed in by McHale. Well, that's a defensive breakdown. You, you can't let him get that deep. Yeah, how do you let him get a lounge chair down there and be comfortable in the paint like that? Now here's Jordan. Shoots over Ainge. Jordan can't get that one to fall. Now that's just enough defensive pressure on him to throw off that shot. I bet he gets a, a good look at it next time and hits it. Johnson and foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. Hey, you know, for a guy who sat on the bench his senior year of high school and, and was barely noticed by college recruiters, boy, DJ's proved a lot of people wrong. Shooting two. And they now lead as the free throw drops for him. Both good from the line that time. Here's Harper. He's been quiet so far. Still no points in the game. High arcing shot. It's good. And I enjoy watching Harper as he, he fends off the contact. Awesome at just finding those little cracks in the defense and exploiting them. Johnson surveying the floor. Pass to McHale. Falls back and drains the fadeaway jumper. And McHale's got six. You know, that basket must be widening out right now, Kevin. He's making almost every shot he's putting up this quarter. Harper the pass to Jordan. A three, Pippen. Parrish against the rebound. Parrish has got rebound number seven for him tonight. Harper against Johnson. Passes it to Ainge. Lock at six. And Jordan sends it back. And one of the league's most effective shot blockers from that guard position. Jordan can do it and help defense or on the ball. Now here's Pippen. Jordan kicks to Pippen. Outside, Rodman. Pass to Jordan. 
on the left block. He sends it through. Jordan's got the game tied up here for the Bulls. That's just tremendous scoring instinct. So fun to watch him work in the half court. So the Celtics call timeout. They're first. Well, whether things are good, bad, or indifferent, coaches will have adjustments to make throughout the course of the game. Yeah, not just there to pump up or to discipline players. you got to make sure that the coach makes the proper adjustments and has his team in the right mindset to carry it out. So Boston going with almost an entire new group here. Walton's checked in for Parrish. Wedman comes in for Larry Bird. Marjan Brooks is checked in for Ainge. And Vincent subbed in for Dennis Johnson. So Chicago going with an almost entirely new group here. Williams, he's checked in for Long. Kukoc comes in for Scotty Pippen. Baker, he's checked in for Michael Jordan. And Steve Kerr is subbed in for Ron Harper. Now here's Walton. And there's Marshawn Brooks on the assist by Walton. And the Celtics lead by two. And they've scored several times already here in the first quarter on the inside. The pass to Baker. He feeds it to Rodman. Rejected by McHale. They retain possession. Goes up again. The shot by Rodman, no good. And here's Boston. Here's Vincent. Pass to Wedman. There's the dish to McHale. Kicks it to Walton. Inside. Nice again. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. That one on Kukoc. The Celtics shooting their third and fourth free throw shots of the night. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. No good on the free throw. And he can't get the second one to drop either. Coming up empty that time. to Baker over Brooks Baker no good the Celtics with the lead here's Vincent Brooks outside that one's not going to go and the Bulls going the other way now Outside, Kukos. Pass to Rodman. Now here's Kukoc. Defense right on him. And it goes down two points. And that will tie this game up. Able to get his shot in a variety of ways. Kukoc can do it within the flow of the offense as well as one-on-one. -on -one. Now here's Brooks. Here's McHale. And a little luck that time, but it drops. 
McHale's got eight points. I, I love his shot selection today. He set the bar for the rest of the team. Baker passes to Kerr. Who coach against McHale? Pulls up on the wing. Goes back up. And Walton sends it back. And how about the anticipation and timing? You know, we talk about Walton's offense. How about the defense, though, he provides for this team? Beautiful transition offense there. That's execution at its best. Yeah, once you burst through a seam like that, you got to look right towards the rim. Sweet play. Here's Baker. Nothing yet on the scoreboard for him. For three, Kerr drops in the tray. And that's exactly what he's looking for, draining the triple. Here's Vincent, defended by Kerr. Out to the right wing. Here's Vincent. The teardrop falls in. When the player gets a feel for that floater, it can really make things tough on defenders. You're just not sure how to guard them and where your point of commitment is. Now here's Kukoc. From 11 feet away, that one a little long. You're not pretty. You've just got to shake off a miss like that. Vincent's shot is good. Now it's a five-point Boston lead. Yeah, and you can see the defense broke down there, allowing him to get all the way to the hoop. We've got a nine-second difference between the shot clock and the game clock. Here's Kukoc. Here's Williams. Plays it up and banks it in. Yeah, and what you love about Kukoc, the versatility on offense and, and the terrific court vision. Now here's Brooks. Tight defense on him. From deep three-point range, we'll take a quick break and then back to the action here. Court side of game seven as this series comes to a head. And what do you guys think about Boston here in this one? Well, their effort on the defensive end has set the tone for this game. Yeah, defense has been infectious here as everybody stepping up aggressively on that end. Bulls trail by three. They've got C Sting. Walton is out there with Kevin McHale, then it's Brooks, and it's Wedman into the three. That's the Boston Five. Here is Zesting, defended by Kirk. Brooks misses. Brooks has gone one of four so far. To the paint, here's Kukoc. Count it. His second make in four attempts. And they keep hammering away at him inside, forcing the ball into the paint. Here is Zesting, defended by Kirk. Pass to Wedman. That one misses. Kukoc with the defensive effort. Ball's knocked loose. All by himself. Here's Zesting. Count it. And the Celtics lead by three. And that's how to make an impact with defense. Once the steal is made, you know they're going to be scattered. Outside, Kukoc. The pass to Kerr. Back to Kukoc. Down to five on the shot clock. From deep. Not going to go that time. Now the Celtics take it the other way. Seasting passes to Brooks. Two points. That one goes. Brooks has got his second basket of the night. And they are attacking the rim and getting great results. To the middle, here's Kerr. A good finish at the rack off the slick feet. And they're passing the ball very crisply here. 
Here is Seasting, defended by Kirk. Seasting passes to Wedman. And here is McHale. Over Rodman. And again, it's Boston converting. And fantastic length. The touch on the jump shot. Almost impossible to stop McHale from mid-range. Pass to Kerr. He kicks it to Kukoc. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. It goes on Kevin McHale. Yeah, good job to take it right at the game. Bulls shooting their initial free throws of the game right here. First one falls for him. Austin making some changes. Parrish is checked in for McCain. Bird comes in for Wedman. And Dennis Johnson's subbed in for Marshawn Brooks. So Chicago going with an almost entirely new grouper. Longley's checked in for Williams. Pippen comes in for Dennis Rodman. Michael Jordan is checked in for Ron Baker. And it's Harper in for Steve Kerr. Kuko hits them both. And here in the second quarter of action with a hair under two and a half minutes played so far. Shoots from the elbow. Here's Walton. And two free throws coming up. Unable to get that one to go with all the content. Austin shooting their fifth and sixth free throws of the game. And he makes the first. So Walton nails both of them. Second quarter of play with almost three minutes gone. Outside Harper, and there's the feed to Pippen. And he banks in the layup. Yeah, and Pippen using those long arms inside to get shots off. Feels like no one can guard him down low. Jordan against Johnson. He dishes it to Bird. To the inside, Seasting. This is his first chance at the line tonight. Shoot two. And the first one drops. And they have yet to miss a shot from the line here this quarter. So he gets them both. A great player on a great role at the charity stripe. The D has got to be careful about being too aggressive on him and sending him back for freebies. Outside Jordan. Kicks it to Pippen. Outside Kukoc. Six on the shot clock. Poke loose. And they're running. And it's blocked by Jordan. Harper against Johnson. Goes up on the wing. Harper, no good. 
Celtics leading by five. Third left side. Lays it up off the glass. Bird's got his first points of the night. Now there's some easy offense there. Keep finding looks in that area, and their shooting percentages tonight are going to be off the charts. And up the court come the Celtics on the break. Johnson's shot is off. Now how about the timing he shows there to challenge that shot? Yeah, not easy to do there, and that's a guy that you can tell takes every possession defensively very seriously. Pippen against Bird. To the middle. And it's Parrish missing. Bulls trail by seven. Outside Harper. Passes to Jordan. Nice fake with the layup off the mark. Those are chances almost always you can rely on him to get you two points, but the D just enough to keep him out of rhythm. For Boston, they have scored six points from their eight attempts at the line so far. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. The first free throw is good. Yeah, and every generation or so, a player comes along who can be considered a true superstar. Folks, that's Larry Bird. Danny Ainge has checked in for C Stink. And that's good as he hits both of his shots. Makes it pretty tough on the defense. Who are you going to pick to send to the free throw line? And he's hitting the free throws right now. Form looks good. Parrish against Kukoc. Outside Jordan. Pass to Harper. Shot clock at six. Trying to get something going. And Walton sends it back. Ainge against Jordan. Ainge dishes to Walton. Johnson, the pass to Walton. Back to Johnson. The Celtics need to get a shot off. And here's Bird for three. Kept alive by Boston. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. The Celtics have shot 8 of 10 from the line. That's an even 80% free throw shooting here. Shooting two. He misses the free throw. He doesn't get the second one. Bulls trail by nine. Here's Harper. Feeds it to Jordan. And out of bounds as the Celtics gain possession. And so it's Johnson who brings the ball up for the Celtics. They lead by their biggest margin of the game. Nine. And here we go, the Bulls, fast break, and slam dunk by Jordan. Yeah, and right there, you see how quickly MJ gets into the air. Yet another one of his natural gifts. Johnson kicks to Walton. Harper against Johnson. 
There's the pass to H. Six to shoot. Over Kukoc. That's tipped. Yeah, but the hand in the face. It's critical that you contest his shots every time down the floor. Pippen, the pass to Long. And Walton sends it back. Outside Jordan. And the officials call him for Three. a three-second violation. Vincent's checked in for Dennis Johnson. Austin laden by seven. Here's Vincent. Bird right side. Gets it to go from 18 feet away. Bird's got six points in the quarter. And, and he has really come to life here after a slow start in that first quarter. They need a bucket in a big way here to regain some confidence. That's the long one. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. The Bulls have gone two for two in the game at the line. First free throw is good. Both free throws good from Longley. Yeah, in this quarter, they've had the right approach. Driving and drawing. Initiating contact. Create opportunities. Get to the line. Now, here's Walton. Now, in. Pocket six. Passes it to Vincent. The good-looking shot from the wing. Vincent's got the lead up to nine now for the Celtics. And here are the Bulls now. Outside Jordan. Pippen against Bird. Let's it fly. Misses off the left eye. Celtics leading by nine. Knocks it loose. Kukoc with the steal. The drive by Jordan. And no good. Great D that time from Walton. Pippen against Ainge. Vincent the pass to Walton. Here's Vincent. He's got six. Pass to Bird. Five on the clock. Parrish inside. Longley on him. Two free throws coming up and they call the shooting foul. Clearly a foul. The Celtics have made eight of their 12 free throws in this game. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And the first one at the line is good. Edmonds checked in for the Celtics. Chicago also making some changes. Williams comes in for Kukoc. And Kerr is subbed in for Ron Harper. Both free throws good from Parrish. So at Chicago now. They trail by 11. Pippen with it. Outside Williams. And there's the pass to Jordan. Kicks it out to Kerr. That drops and it comes off an assist from Jordan. Kerr's got eight points. Yeah, and this is what happens when you have a scorer like Jordan on the floor. He attracts all that attention defensively, leaving guys wide open. Here's Vincent. He's got six. 
Pass to Bird. Here's Parrish. Rebound by Pippen. Bulls trail by eight. In transition, here come the Bulls. Williams in the post. Bird cover. Williams, that's good. And that's a lesson for the D. Fight harder on the glass. Yeah, you just can't afford to give up second chance opportunities again and again. Here's Vincent. Bird right side. Count it. Good. Bird's got eight points in the quarter. And here are the Bulls now. Up top, Pippen. Rebound, Parrish. Parrish has got the glass covered here tonight. 11 boards for him. Here's Redman. Scotty Pippen grabs the miss. Pippen's got his fourth rebound in this one. Looking to get back on track here. Count the bucket. And he's got a free throw coming up as well. And when he gets in his head that he's going to get to the basket, very little you can do defensively. First trip to the free throw line for him tonight. Some changes for Boston. McHale comes in for Larry Burke. And Brooks subbed in for Danny Ainge. Rodman, he's checked in for Chicago. Ron Baker comes in for Jordan. Pippen no good on the free throw. Pippen, simply put, one of the best small forwards of all time. A defensive powerhouse and a fearless scorer. Fires from 18. Redmond can't get it to go. The defense there got away with a major lapse. And Boston with the rebound. And the shots just continue to say no in terms of falling. Inside. Shots good by McHale. McHale is a deadly efficient shooter. His 55% career shooting percentage, one of the all-time best. There's Baker, still looking for his first bucket in this one. Williams against McHale. Outside Rodman, six on the shot clock. Pass to Pippen, from past the arc. But they recover it. Rodman kicks to Pippen. Pass to Baker. Fires the three. Parrish against the rebound. Parrish is about three seconds between shot and game clock. Here's Vincent. Six points for him. McHale. And a lot of contact on that one, so he'll shoot two here. This is his second trip to the line in this one. Break, take a break. Two shots. And he knocks down the first one. And McHale drops them both. And really the smart thing would be to hold for the last shot. And every second right now is valuable to you. That should be their strategy. Outside Pippen. Over McHale. Count it. And the Celtic lead has been cut down now to just eight on the basket from Scotty Pippen. And so it's Boston in the driver's seat. Up eight points at the end of the quarter. And they've done a phenomenal job down low. So many of their points coming right at the rim. And don't go away. We'll be right back. It's the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hello again, everybody. Halfway through this round one matchup of the NBA playoffs, Ernie Johnson, Kenny Smith, and Shaq. Taking a look at the Celtics, 
it was a good solid first half of basketball they played and I'm sure they're going to be focused on extending that lead quickly in the third quarter to ensure this is not a game seven that's going to go right down to the wire. Taking a look at the Celtics, Shaq, what do you think? Well, they were really in attack mode. The most telling stat is how many times they got to the free throw line. They weren't all afraid to get their hand and get those elbows dirty. You know, I'm a specialist when it comes to the elbows on me. And Kenny, let's get your input on the Bulls. I was unimpressed on Very unimpressed with their offense. You know, guys seem to be going through emotions, not cutting, not hustling. They failed to get back into a great offensive rhythm. They'll need to step it up big in the second half to cut into this lead. And that does it for our halftime show. We now take you back to Kevin Harlan for the start of the third period. And we're with you again as our round one coverage continues. A fantastic game so far from Kevin McHale in this one. With so much on the line tonight, you have to be impressed with the way he came out and set the tone with his aggression. Yeah, the rest of the team seemed to line right up behind him, matching that kind of intensity and looking for him to come through with some big plays. Well, it doesn't get much better than playoff basketball. Let's get back to the action here in round one. So for Chicago right now, Harper's out there with Jordan. Then it's Rodman. Then it's Pippen. And it's Longley in at the five spot. Now the pass to Harper. From the baseline. Rebound Boston. Parrish has got 15 rebounds here tonight. Here's Johnson. Drops in the layup for two. And the Celtics lead by 10. It's a great move, and he catches the defense completely off guard. Well, just ripping through right there as he, he finds the open spot and gets right through there. High basketball IQ play. Now here's Rodman. Still getting warmed up offensively. No scoring yet from him. Shot clock at six. The Bulls need to get a shot off here. Pippen for three. The rebound by the Celtics. McHale's got seven rebounds in the game. And here in the second half of play, we're just over a minute in. And here is Ainge. On the wing, Burke. Here's Parrish. No good that time. Now Chicago takes it the other way. They've been looking out of sync offensively. Yeah, the, the, their offense has ground to a standstill. Back to Pippen. Outside, Rodman. Over McHale. Rodman, no luck. And when you can't get anything to fall, it definitely gets in your head. Especially if you're a player that doesn't get a lot of shot attempts. But otherwise, the mindset is, I just got to get the next one to go. And you don't want to put that much pressure on yourself. Pass to Johnson. Celtics passing it around. Yeah, they're going to try to search out for somebody that's got a hot hand right now. One of four to start the half. Just under two and a half minutes into the third quarter now. Here's Jordan. And the Bulls with another miss. That's a big donut, folks, here. To start the second half. Four straight they've missed. Ames the pass to Perry. Takes the assist and lays it in. Picked out the pass nicely. And he can time his passes so perfectly. Wow, what an assist. On defense, the Celtics. They haven't given up any points here in the second half. Here's Longley. The 17-footer goes down. There you go. Finally getting one to drop. They have to be a little better now, starting one for five in this half. 
Ames, the pass to Bird. Shoots over Pippen. No good from Bird. He's got so many ways to score in the post. Just nifty, uses fakes. You have to have a body on him every time he's down there. And as a free throw shooter, Robin has his challenges. One of those guys who almost shoots a better percentage from the field. First trip to the free throw line for him in this one. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. That free throw, no good. So we can't get either to fall. Team starts the second half missing four of five shots. When does the coach possibly call a timeout and reiterate what he talked about at halftime? Now here's Johnson. Shoots over Harper. Johnson's shot is off. Ainge against Jordan. Right wing. Outside Harper. Back to Jordan. Five to shoot. With the floater, and the layup is up and in. Jordan's got it back down to a single-digit deficit for the Bulls. Jordan's gotten five baskets in 12 attempts so far. Ainge dishes to Parrish. Over Longley. Again, the miss by the Celtics. Teammates right now covering up for the type of off performance he's having. In terms of scoring, this has not been his best night. Now here's Jordan. Ten points for him. Now long. Headshot off. Excellent D there from Parrish. Ainge against Jordan. Ainge the pass to Johnson. Back to Ainge. Six to shoot. Johnson in the corner. Releases. None of the miss, and they've really hit a rough patch here. Bulls trail by eight. They've been struggling here on offense. Yeah, a bit of a dry spell for sure. Harper kicks to Rodman. It's Pippen on the way. Bird cover. Johnson against Harper. Drains the three-pointer. Harper's got his second bucket of the night. Austin laden by five. Time called here. The Celtics decide to talk it over. As the teams head into this timeout, a chance for the coaches now to map out some plays for the next few minutes and a chance for the players to rehydrate with some Gatorade. That's important if they want to make sure they don't wear down later in the game. Absolutely. Over the course of a game, you have to stay hydrated. Some changes for Boston. Walton's checked in for Parrish. And Brooks subbed in for Kevin McHale. Kukoc, he's checked in for the Bulls. Kerr comes in for Harper. Now here's Brooks. Now here is Ain. And here's Bird for three. Kukoc grabs the miss. Kukoc has got four rebounds now tonight. 
Jordan the pass to Curry. Johnson against Jordan. Passes it to Ainge. Here's Walton. That's tipped. Bird against Jordan. That one, no good. Curry with some nice D. Brooks with no one around. Good. And it's Bird picking up the assist. Brooks has got seven points in the game. Bulls trail by eight. Kerr with it. Eight points for him. Outside Jordan. Rodman trying to break free. Jordan's shot is off. Is it getting cold in here, Kevin? This is, this is a tough one. Crucial that he starts to work a little harder for a higher percentage shot. Just cannot get anything to go. If there's going to be a way to get out of this hole, I don't think he'll be the one to do it. Changing ends quickly. He's rewarded with a high percentage look. Yeah, the defense trying to do their best to slow him down. But when he gets room like that, you got to look out. Now here's Kukoc. Six points for him. Here's Longley. And he'll shoot free throws here. Clearly fouled on that shot that time. The whistle blowing. And Boston called for the foul. For Chicago, they have shot four of seven as a team from the line tonight. Several misses early. Shooting two. First free throw is good. Edmonds checked in for Boston. Seasting comes in for Johnson. Baker, he's checked in for Chicago. misses so he splits the free throws and just so frustrating for a team when you collectively go cold at the line and that's happened to them here in the second half Brooks misses how about the timing he shows there to challenge that shot yeah not easy to do there and that's a guy that you can tell takes every possession defensively very seriously there's Baker he's still scoreless so far in this one down to five on the shot clock. Kukoc gets the bucket. You can't just stop when there's a pick set up. Got to fight over it as a defender. That's one that the coaches will watch tomorrow with that player. You hate to see him give up in that situation. And the Celtics with possession here after the Bulls pick up two. Bird, the pass to Walton. Good. And it's Bird picking up the assist. Bird's got three assists tonight. Well, that just scrambled the defense all kinds of ways with that great initial pass. Now here's Kukoc. Eight points for him. He feeds it to Rodman. He kicks it to Kerr. Bird against Kukoc. For three. Redman pulls it in. Didn't hesitate for a second to get a hand up on that deep ball. Yeah, you got to like how he hustled to guard out on the perimeter, definitely respecting the shooting ability. Walton with the steal. Here's Wedman. Pass to Bird. Uses the glass to finish the layup. And now an 11-point Celtic lead. Unwilling to let up, even for a moment. That's his killer instinct, just fanning the flame. Yeah, he's the guy that you want to go to right now, trying to put this one away. Now here's Rodman. No points in the game yet for him. There's the lob to the hoop. And hard to decide which was better, the pass, the catch, or the slam. Oh, there's no wrong answer. Sens <laughs> sensational alley -oop. Here is Zesting, defended by Kerr. Rodman against Bird. Here's the three. Again, the miss by Bird. 
Well, if he's going to keep shooting, they've got to run some plays for him. Screens, pick and rolls, anything they can do to get him started. And here's Longley. Five points in the game. Here's Baker. Tries again. That's him, and the Celtic lead has cut to just seven on the basket from Longley. You don't want to ever give up points on the boards. That's the lesson for the team there. That's a hustle play to save points. Here's Brooks. Here's Walton. And a good offensive board. And he gets the bucket. Walton's got eight. Yeah, well done to finish that one off. Time called here. The Bulls decide to talk it over. And he could tell his guys were dragging a little bit, calling time out to kind of let them catch their breath. The Celtics making a switch here. Johnson's checked in. 135 left to play in the third. Outside, Kukoc. Don't they get it back? And I just love how he's banging down low. His hard work will let them use some more of the clock here. Bird outside. Trying to get open is Brooks. And it's blocked. One on one fast break. Here's Baker. Kicks to Kerr. It's good. Now just a five point Celtic lead. And so it's Johnson who brings the ball up for the Celtics. They've held a 12 point lead earlier. Walton against Longley. Here's Brooks. And that comes off the assist by Bill Walton. 11 points for Brooks. Not sure which clips they watched at halftime, but he has figured out how to attack the D, and they kept him in check in the first half. He's flipped it. Now here's Kukoc. 10 points for him. The shot, no good. 27 seconds left in the third quarter. Johnson left side. Nice pass. Run into the rack perfectly for the layup. And it's a nine-point Celtic lead. There's Baker. He's been patient so far. Nothing on the scoreboard yet. The pass to Kerr. Outside, Kukos. Here's Rodman. Off target with that shot. And so it's Boston. In control with a nine-point lead to end the quarter. And they're winning the turnover battle very easily in this one. And we'll be back with you shortly. And let's take now this moment to bring up our State Farm assist of the game. And he sliced the D wide open with this feed. They had no chance to prevent that basket. And that's what great passing will do for you right there, dissecting the defense with that play. NBA playoffs, round one. Thanks for joining us as we get back to the action on the court. We've got Wednesday. Kevin McHale out there with Bird. Then it's Johnson, and it's Parrish in its center. That's the Boston Five. Now here's Johnson. 
Here's McHale. That's in there. Jackson with the assist. And the Celtics lead by 11. Well, he's been doing it all night. Why not go back to him? Yeah, he's feeling it. Keep feeding him until he misses. Kukoc against McHale. Kukoc against the bucket. Well, looking into the gaps of the defense there, he's not going to miss many of those when he gets to that ring. Pass to Pierce. Bird controls the rebound and puts it back up and in. Just in a perfect position to grab that rebound and then get the putback. 60 seconds off the clock here in the fourth. That's it, and the Celtic lead is good down to nine in the bucket from Rodman. Now Johnson. McHale outside. Johnson outside. Now the feed to Bird. And the rejection by Pippen. And it's always been about the effort defensively for Pippen, known as a stopper and a fantastic shot blocker to boot. Now here's Kukoc. And it's sent back by McHale. And so it looks like the Bulls will retain possession here. Yeah, the body language right now is not looking good for this basketball team. The game might be out of reach, but they have to avoid mistakes like that. Celtics making a switch here. Ainge is checked in. And the Bulls making a change here as well. Jordan's checked in. Ainge against Kukoc. Shoots over Ainge. That's it. And the Celtic lead is cut to just nine points on the basket from Kukoc. Just the height separation on that mid-range jumper. Excellent job of taking advantage. Harper against Johnson. Here's Ainge. A three-pointer no good. Not great numbers, but great effort in this one. Sounds funny, but I think he's been a positive for that. The drive by Jordan. The shot's good. And you can just see the extraordinary competitiveness. MJ staying laser-focused after absorbing the contact. Passes to McHale. Harper against Johnson. Six on the shot clock. Up top, Bird. Another shot. And McHale finishes inside. McHale's got four points now in the quarter. Yeah, that's the third bucket in a row from the paint. This defense needs to clog those lanes in the middle. Kukoc gets to Pippen. Outside Jordan. Pass to Kukoc. Shoots over Parrish. Kukoc can't get it to go. Celtics leading by nine. Bird with it. He's picked up by Pippen. Some solid defense from Pippen. Chicago with the ball. Outside Harper. 13 feet away. A rebound by the Celtics. They've held a 12-point lead early. Here's Ainge. And that one is off. Jordan with some nice D. Okay, and he has not made one shot in this one. Has to be on his mind every time he's pulling up. Some nice ball movement by the Bulls. A fadeaway. Rebounded by the Celtics. Parrish is... On the wing, Burke. He's guarded by Harper. McHale. The second effort. And it's good on the way up. McHale's got 20 points. Just creating havoc for the opponents the last few games. You saw him by that putback there. He's just completely locked in. We're getting full contributions from him right now. And so it's Johnson who brings the ball up for the Boston Celtics. Nine-point game. Now a timeout called by Boston. And Kevin, he saw his, his guys just a little sluggish out there. Oftentimes a timeout like this allows you to kind of just reset.
Longley's checked in for Tony Kukoc. And we've got an update here, so let's catch up with David Aldridge. Hey, Kevin. Well, the head coach for Boston had some instruction for the guys during the timeout. He said, I want us to play as though we're behind. We're good when we play with urgency. We're bad when we become complacent. Don't become complacent. Let's go. Guys. Now here's Johnson. He on the clock. He kicks to Ainge. Looking to end his cold spell. And it's Parrish missing. Bulls trail by nine. Here's Jordan. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. It's on Danny Ainge. And the defining trait of the greatest of superstars, Jordan makes the players around him better, mentally, in terms of effort, and in terms of their performance. Shoot two. The first free throw is good. Falls, so he hits both of them. Austin leading by seven. Johnson with the bounce pass. McHale passes to Johnson. Lock at six. Here's Ainge. Got ten coming off the assist from Johnson. And the Celtics lead by ten. Defensively, you can't afford to give him that kind of look, especially down this many points. Teachable moment there. Lapses like this are backbreakers. Now here's Jordan. They get a hand on it and taken away by Johnson. To the paint. Bird, the pass to McHale. And it's slammed in by McHale. Well, if you don't take care of the ball, fellas, that's what can happen absolutely great that makes the turnover even more painful and the gamble paying off rejected by McHale Johnson outside feeds to McHale from down in the low post it goes McHale's got 10 points in the quarter wow unconscious has he been this quarter they're riding that hot hand Pippen against Bird and again Chicago turns it over yeah that's a tough one Kevin an experienced player in the pro game shouldn't be making that pass Austin leading by 14 now here is Ainge up top, Bird. And it's Boston with another. And it just seems that every pass they make is leading to a score. Just great ball movement. Time called here. The Bulls decide to talk it over. And they're allowing too many points in the paint. Coach is going to let them hear about it. Yeah, Coach knows that. They know that. In the timeout, they're going to hear about it. Make the adjustment. a chance to check out some of the tremendous play tonight from our Jordan player of the game and he's just been crushing it from the field tonight Kevin whether it's been on open looks or with the guy draped all over him he just hadn't missed much with his percentage in the sky high range 
They've had no choice but to make him their number one option on every trip. And he'll head into the second round with his confidence at its highest level. He couldn't have picked a better time to take his game up a notch. Bulls trail by 16. Jordan the pass to Pippen. Back to Jordan. Harper against Johnson. From deep, Jordan. Here's Rodman. Fouled on the shot and picks up two points. So one free throw coming up. And they've shown a little extra hustle on the offensive glass here in the second half. Second chance points are starting to add up for them. And they can use every one of them. What's up? So it's Johnson who brings the ball up for Boston. At one point, they led by 16. The pass to McHale. Chicago grabs the miss. And the effort never stops with him. No easy shots when he's on the floor. Well, it's about the defensive end, and that's what guys feed off. He gives the effort down there at all times. On the wing, Burke, guarded by Pippen. Johnson kicks to Ainge. Shot clock at six. Let's the free fly. Oh, awesome defense. Robin moving his feet incredibly strong for his size and just does a great job of getting into the head of the opponent. Of all the action happening there, Kevin, it's the assist that jumps out to me there. That's just a great look and a great setup for the bucket. Harper against Johnson. Parrish dishes to Ainge. Parrish the pass to Johnson. And here's Bird for three. Here's Parrish. Knocks it loose. It's stolen by Rodman. Pippen with it. Pass to Jordan. And the basket is good, and he's got a chance here for one more at the line. Man, the body control and focus. I mean, Jordan able to draw the foul and still finish the basket. Austin laden by eight. Passes it to Paris. Ainge with the ball, covered by Long. Here's McHale. Kept alive. Here's Parrish. And he gets the basket. Officials blowing the whistle, so a chance at the line for one more. And doing a really good job here of pounding it inside in the second half. Sound strategy with the lead. Throw good, Parrish. Bulls trail by 11. And here is Harper. Outside, Rodman. Pass to Jordan. And they double up Jordan. Just four to shoot. No coverage that time drama here guys I mean they've managed to get hot just when it looked like this thing was out of reach Mikhail kicks to Johnson hey, hey, hey. 
The pass to Ainge. From deep. Rodman with the rebound. Ainge has gone one of four from distance. Here's Jordan. Softly drops in the floater. Jordan's got 11 in the second half. The adjustments they've made offensively, they're putting guys in a position now to succeed. And possession's just way more efficient, I think, here tonight, taking smarter, better shots, moving the ball around. That's helped them to get back in the ballgame. Mikhail, that's good. That's the guy they're going to keep going to, as they should. The lead's only going up if they keep feeding him. And here are the Bulls now. They're on a 13-5 run. It's Pippen on the way. Ainge covering. That one's in there. The Boston lead is cut back down to six. They get the basket from Scottie Pippen. Yeah, that's a high percentage look when the D doesn't fight over the screen. And the coach over there just asking for one simple thing, and that's some effort. Got burned on that one. Now here's Johnson. 14 feet away. And that one, good. And the Celtics lead by eight. Now the Bulls with it. Outside, Harper. 109 left to play here in the fourth. Plenty of daylight on that shot. And, and Harper brings a lot of physicality to the table. Also solid at cutting the D apart with his passing. Johnson against Harper. Johnson outside. Pass to Bird. From deep three-point range from beyond the arc and then some. You are in total command of this game with time starting to run out. Yeah, looking for a miracle worker out there is the opposing coaching staff. I don't know that they have one. This game seems to be well in hand. Time called here. The Bulls decide to talk it over. They're trailing by eight. There's 42 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Side Harper and Jordan has it in the corner. Good D by Ainge. Here are the Celtics with the ball. Seven second difference, shot and game clock. Parrish dishes to Ainge. With the teardrop, the putback. Great positioning on the putback. And now a 10 point Boston lead. And, folks, he did not luck into that one. He knew just where he wanted to be to grab that backboard. Outside, Jordan takes a three. The offensive rebound. You know, altered shots don't show up on the official stat sheet, but as we saw there, he does a great job of doing that as well as collecting the rebound. And they're going to move on to the conference semifinals. Thrilling fashion, guys, taking round one in what certainly will go down guys it's one of the most competitive series this year and, and you always love a game set and, and no disappointment here and, and these guys are ready and excited for round two maybe a bit tired but the adrenaline is still pumping well that'll do it for now and you can join us during this first round of the eastern conference playoffs so for david aldridge craig anthony brent barry and the whole 2k sports crew this is kevin harlan thanking you